All right, so Tara here has a podcast called Hungry, uh, and she's mostly been talking about intuitive eating. And now she would like to bring other relevant topics. Really, they're relevant, right, Tara? Like they're they're not out of the blue, um, but they're still within the realm of, you know, uh, like you're wanting to bring in topics about body image and and things that people who listened to your existing podcast would probably be interested in. Let's put it that way. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that is a simple case where, and the question is whether or not she should rebrand her podcast. Um, or start a new one. Or, or start a new one, right. But the thing about starting a new podcast is you will have to, you know, the question is, where, where are you going to keep the archives available to people who, to, to people, for people to find it over the years? Uh, because if you keep the archives available, it probably means you have to keep paying the podcast hosting service for the old podcast, right? Because, you know, um, so otherwise, if you stop paying the podcast hosting service, then the, the, the archives are no longer searchable or, or downloadable, et cetera. Okay, so um, if possible, stay with the same podcast. You already have an audience rather than like relaunching and uh, building another audience. Um, so you could you could simply keep going because it's relevant topics. Um, and the way I like to brand or rebrand is when it becomes painfully obvious to me, <laughs> or not even painfully, but when it becomes really obvious to me that I've now shifted to a new brand, then I rebrand at that point. Um, but I until then, if it's related, I just keep going with the same brand. So perfect. Yeah, okay. yeah, and and uh, uh, when you rebrand, you could relaunch, you know, the same podcast, the same archives, just relaunch, relaunch as a new name. And yes, the old podcast episodes still say the old name. That's okay, um, you, you know. Uh, so 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 that's that's the simplest way of doing it. But yes, you could technically launch a new podcast, but just keep try to keep the old one because people do find it over the years. Um, and just overall, like <laughs> back to. Back to what I always say about brand is it, when it's if it's possible to use your own name, <laughs> that's always my favorite brand because you know you get into these situations where it's like, yeah, I am Tara Whitney, and now I'm going to talk about you know um, how to train cats, and I can't because <laughs> the podcast is called Hungry. That <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Well, yes, right. actually, cats are hungry, and you can train them that way. No, <laughs> so so. Yeah, so this is why. Oh, um, I really like that. So I could take my existing podcast to call it the Tara Whitney Show. Yeah, yeah. and then talk about yes, yeah, whatever. Assuming there want. aren't any Tara Whitney's out there that are doing podcasts. And, there probably are yeah. or will be, um, because your name is not that. I mean, the, these words Tara and Whitney are not super unique. So mm -hmm. I bet there already is or will be, um, but you can, well, you should Google it probably. <laughs> Whenever you're start, you know, you're wanting to um, you know, brand something, you, you should definitely Google it, including your own name. I, I mean, I'm sure you've Googled your own name and what's been the result. Yeah. Yeah. I am on the first page, which is nice. <laughs> That's awesome. And, and if you Google Tar Whitney <laughs> podcast, um, I'm see sure. what happens. Yeah. 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 You know why this is really relevant too, though, George, is because I'm getting ready to um I'm I'm really going hard at publishing my book this year, my second book, which Congrats. has will have a completely different name. So that's the other uh, thing that's in the back of my mind is like yeah. okay, books well, that have was different names. No, books yeah. don't I to me, I don't think uh, sure everything is a brand, you know, but I don't think books are really brands until I mean unless a book really goes bonkers in terms of the sales and mm -hmm. it really like becomes the thing you're known for then yes by default that becomes your brand but books can be you know yeah doesn't have to be anything close to your brand name okay yeah that's really helpful thank yeah, you yeah yeah you're welcome thanks <laughs>